Hey there, this is Pablo from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can publish a website directly from Adobe XD using Anima. In the past few videos, we added links, breakpoints, animation, videos, custom code, and many other Anima features to our website. Now, we are ready to preview the changes we've made and publish them so everyone can see our work. Please check out our previous videos if you haven't. The link to the playlist is in the description box. Before we preview our work, we're going to set up a homepage. For that, we need to switch to prototype mode, select the artboard that we want to set as home, and click the little home icon next to it. If the homepage has breakpoints, this setting will apply to all the artboards in the breakpoints. We already selected our destination project and team here, so all we have left to do is click preview in the browser. This will open a private draft that only we can see. Once we're happy with how the design looks in the browser, we need to sync the draft to our project. If we don't do this, the project will look empty, like this. Now that the design is synced to the Anima project, we can publish it to a custom domain or we can enable a free Anima public link. To create a public link, we will click share in the top right corner. And then we're going to enable public link. And that's it, you have your published website. You can use this link as it is, or you can change it to something else more related to your website. If you have an Anima Pro plan, you can add your own custom domain. Let me show you how you can do this. Let's click on the project settings and under the website tab, we have a lot of options we can add. Here, we can change the subdomain of our public link to something more related to our website. We can add a title, a description, a favicon, which is a little icon on the browser's tab. Also, we can add a cover for social media. So when we share the link on Facebook or Twitter, this image will be displayed along with a link. We can also set a passport to restrict access to it. Here we can add SEO settings and tags. We can add analytics. And here you can download the entries to your forms. In settings, we can also roll back to a previous synced version of our website and make it live. Now, if you have an Anima Pro plan, you can add your custom domain from any provider such as Google Domains or GoDaddy. Now, for all this information to be added to your website, we need to resync the design. Go back to Adobe XD, click Preview on Browser, sync it to a project, and if you have a public link, you're all set. If you added a custom domain, all you have to do is click Publish to your domain in the top right corner. If you don't click here, any changes or information added to your project or design will not be published to your domain. And there you have it, you published a website directly from Adobe XD. Please like this video, comment, share and subscribe to get more Anima tutorials. Make sure to download the demo file, the link is in the description box.